Jay, I, I agree. I, mean, I totally agree. You should, I mean, you should always be working towards portfolio as a student. I mean, you want to come out of the program with some tangible pieces. And I think that that the keeping your mindset to working towards student portfolio in all of your classes is a great way to go. I, I really do. So, so pushing yourself to your your uh, maximum case capability on every assignment is it points in that direction. And I, I just think it's a good formula. Uh, and I know you've been working hard and you, it shows in your work. I mean, this is really gorgeous. So let's go ahead and jump for it. And we're going to start with the, uh, the poster. It's gorgeous. I mean, it's, you got it, man. You got that look. No doubt. This is a beautiful piece. A couple of recommendations here. Now, don't forget this, the, the, it's gotta be two, at least two images. Um, so I'm not seeing the, in the original image right here. I'm, I can see that there's only one image in the composite. So don't forget, we have to have two images in there. Now, just a couple of recommendations here. Um, this area right here is a little bit too dense, and I think we can just kind of redistribute that. My recommendations are this. So we take Pandora a different light, and we'll treat that as one separate composition. What you want to do is you want to left align that. So the A with the Pandora, bring it up a little bit in the composition right there. So we have this nice headline area, right? Watch my cursor. So this right about here or so, okay? Then we're going to take this and don't assemble this in, in, this looks like a bold italic. I would recommend a regular typeface on this, not a bold and not an italic. And just separate that from the headline subhead configuration and bring it down a little bit. So again, watch my cursor. So here's a configuration, headline subhead right around here. Then bring it down a little bit, watch that left margin and bring it down. So if the headline subhead right about here. And then this text would start right about here. So we're just making a little bit of a separation between the two. And then get, get that all left aligned and preserve that left margin by maybe even pulling this in a little bit. That footer area is not really important. You don't really have to follow the, the margins with the footer area. So, um, uh, but, but, but yeah, and that's it. That's all I have. I really think this is going to come out beautifully. I, I do. I think it's a gorgeous piece. So let's, let's get that second image in there. So now it looks like we have... Um, the banner we looks like we don't have the billboard yet so let's go ahead and take a look i think the banner again is really really interesting but we need to have consistency here okay so this is a campaign don't forget right now you have pandora um right now this looks like it wants to be centered but the left margin is bigger if you want it centered make sure well it's going to have to be centered there's there's no two ways around it um so make sure and then just it looks like the kerning here is a little bit tighter so make sure that's identical so basically you're just going to copy that reduce the size and put, paste it right here okay then you've got a different um tagline this one is a different light this one is adventure awaits so make sure you're using a, an identical tagline that'll point to consistency in the campaign um so you have pandora um, um a different light and then don't forget, let's get that information down in there too, so that the, so we can follow the 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 the, the uh, conceptual approach of being an actual ad. So you want that contact information in there. Now, as far as visual um, goes here, I, this right up here is a little overdone. This is gorgeous. This has you got it right through here. That's exactly what you're going for. But this, I think that's a an excursion um, um, blending mode. And uh, excursion. I'm sorry. It, sorry, I, that's looking like an exclusion. I, I just call it an excursion. Um, it, it's an exclusion blending mode right here. And I think this is too prominent. I, there, if we take a look at anomalies, what's different from this piece than this piece? It's this area right here. So you could even mask that off and just kind of reduce that that extreme um, exclusion blending mode, or however you achieve that. That that area right there is just a little bit overdone. Um, okay, and then also, uh, yeah, other than that, I think we're just looking fantastic. So really, really great start. So if you have any questions, please let me know, um, and I'll be glad to, to make any necessary clarifications. But this is a fantastic start. Very good. Thanks for sharing, Jay.